Alright guys, so here's the Ronin M with a red scarlet on there. It's got the uh, Mysterium upgrade on the red. Um, I know you guys want to help me out and uh, make some suggestions to help out my, what I'm calling the wagging issue with it. But let's first get some things out the way. Um, the gimbal is already balanced. Um, before I show you that it's balanced, I'm going to go down and show you what I'm using to power the RED. Um, it's a LiPo battery. It's a 2600 milliamp battery from um, RC Rotors, their Evolution Power Series. Um, it's connected via a uh, Limo cable. I got a HDMI cable coming out there to my monitor when I put it on. Uh, the only other thing I added since you see in the picture is this uh, the HMI cable and this LiPo battery checker to go off um, when the battery gets to a certain voltage. Um, I took off the sidearm off here so it's pretty stripped down. Um, if you're wondering why the cover is missing from there up top, that's because we usually have this uh, cheese plate mounted on top for the handle and some other accessories. Um, but for now I'll have that like that. I don't have the cover at the moment. Um, the side arm, or yeah, side uh, handle piece is also um, not here right now, so I taped that to cover the uh, port. Um, so yeah, pretty stripped down. I've got the uh, media card in the back there. As you can see, it's getting power from the lipo, and we've got a 24 millimeter Canon lens on here. Um, so here we go. I'm going to show you. It's balanced. I'm not going to go all the way back um, face down with the camera because as you can see the battery is going to hit on this portion right here. I mean we can touch it and leave it there if you want. Um, it's pretty, I don't know if you can see all that but it's pretty, it's clearing. All these cables are clearing there. Um, I'm using the Velcro strap that came with the Ronin M to hold the uh, battery, the LiPo battery onto the uh, bottom here. And that's pretty much what's giving me that extra weight that I need to counter the top heaviness of the RED. Um, so don't really need the tilt arms, I mean it probably would be easier I guess to balance maybe for some people if they use the tilt. Um, extension arms that uh, a couple companies are making out there but for me um, I just quickly wanted to put this on and see um, if it would be able to balance since I knew I had to use external power to power the red and uh, keep it pretty light so the uh, tilts pretty balanced as you can see um, the roll it's not exactly the easiest to balance on this thing even if it wasn't a red, let's say I had a GH3. The one of the biggest things I think that the M Ronin M has, which I, even the other Ronin, the regular Ronin has it, is this cable in the back. It creates some tension and is pulling you down if you try to uh, go check the roll and make sure it's balanced. So I'm going to show you pretty much that it's balanced, but just remember, we've got this trying to pull us back to center. So here we go. I'm going to leave it right there, balanced. Now. If, Remember, the cable was pulled this way. So if I push the red to, or the roll to try to make sure it's balanced the other way, it's going to pull a little bit. So I have to kind of release that tension, and then there you have it. It's balanced. I mean, the thing's holding in place fine. So my wagging issue is not coming from improper balance. Of course, let's check the yaw uh, or pan motor pan axis and make sure it's balanced and there you go balanced um, pretty balanced right looks good to you guys hopefully hopefully you can see that alright and uh, yeah I mean the only other thing I'd probably change on this right now if I was going to go head out and test, besides of course the settings to fix the wagging issue, is this cable. It's not as soft as I'd like it to be. Um, I'll probably work on getting another cable. 
I don't really have an HDMI cable besides this one that has the same regular size HDMI on both ends so either way that's minor as you can see it's not much of a problem to try and compensate that so it's working for now all right so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna show you that wagging issue that I'm having so yeah these are the settings I got from auto tuning pans at 41 tilts at 72 rolls at 72 um, all the cameras I've used with so far which really so far it's been three the GoPro um, with the case on it the GH4 with a I don't remember exactly the fisheye 8 millimeter and the wide angle lens. There it goes disconnecting. Um, we'll try and connect later. I can't reconnect doesn't actually go right away. I have to go into more and go to device list and reconnect. Anyway, those cameras have worked um, fairly well with auto tune. However, it's still a little iffy that I have to go in and adjust the settings. I'm pretty sure if you've been messing around with your own and you've noticed that it's not perfect, but it gets it pretty close. Um, however, so with the red on there, what I've noticed is every time I auto-tune, the main settings, I mean the settings that I get, will still make it do this. Now, of course, if I move slowly, it's fine. Here's my HDMI cable dropping. So it's working fine. Everything's tracking fine, as you can see. Except for when I start moving. Like, I mean, for certain shots, you'll be fu you'll be okay with that with that slow movement. But for me, I film a lot of skateboarders, a lot of action stuff like uh, BMXers, and I chase people on foot a lot. So for me, doing that, it's gonna wag, right? Now, I've seen some suggestions online, of course, from people saying, I don't have it balanced. We've already proven that's not true. It's balanced. I can balance anything. I've already said this before, I could probably balance a rock on this thing if I needed to. Um, so what we're gonna do is going go ahead and go in here and I'm gonna mess with the settings for the pan because that obviously to me looks like a pan issue so we're gonna go in connect go into the motor and I'm gonna turn up the pan I don't know I'm gonna just let's go somewhere close to double that 41 setting on the pan let's do 40 44 I don't know why I picked that I just feel like 44 looks right so anyway, let it settle in a little bit. Settings are a little going a little crazy here. Anyway, so now they wrote 40, 47 to it. I'm listening to hear if it's vibrating, and it kind of sounds like it. I'm gonna turn that pan down just a little bit more. Right, that. And now let's see how it does. So it's, it's much better with 72 as the pan setting. That's better. I'm pretty sure I could probably, oh, yeah. Of course, with some really heavy motion, there's that wagging again. And I can feel it in the top, in the motor. I can actually feel that it loses its grip. So I could keep raising this until it vibrates a little bit more. Um, but the true test is if, is when I get out there and start shooting a little bit more um, in the field and that's what I know which settings really work well for me but today it was raining I had to do some other stuff so I didn't get a chance to but I just wanted to make this quick video which I, is going on for too long right now to show you guys that it's not the balancing is the issue I don't need the tilt I'm sorry the tilt extension arms at this point for what I'm doing for the way I have the red set up for this lens the lipo battery is enough weight to counter the weight of the camera. Alright, till next time guys, see ya, peace.